Welcome to Sew Like a Pro Time. I'm Teresa Sigmund and you are in the right place to learn to choose, alter, and make the dance sport, country, and skate dress of your dreams. Today I have with me the lovely Carolyn. We've known each other for over 20 years now. <laughs> I made her several dresses when she was doing, in the ballroom world, what we call theater arts. So she was flying through the air and used to do quite a few routines every year, three or four different routines she would learn and perform around the city. Now, while she has long since retired from ballroom dancing, she's now a red-hot realtor. <laughs> and so she has a few dresses that are still hanging in her closet that she agreed to model for me today. Now with this particular dress, it is a velvet. And when you're cut, if you're buying a dress or mostly if you're just cutting out a dress and making it from scratch, you want to check a couple of things on your velvet. Do you want the nap to go down or do you want the nap to go up? Generally, when I cut out a velvet dress, I like for the nap to go down because it gives this rich color that you see on the camera right now so it has little or no sheen when the nap goes down. And the reason I like that particular look is because then whenever you add rhinestones to velvet, they really shine and, and make a very nice contrast between the depth of the velvet and the rhinestones on it. Now I'm gonna step out of the way and if you would, just do a quick spin and let everyone see the volume. This is such a beautiful classic dress. This was a Frank Sinatra routine. Mm -hmm. Really, I think whenever we designed and made this dress, we really nailed it on the head. It's beautiful, it's feminine, it has texture without looking heavy. It's got a, just the right amount of shine. And then this piece, if I could have you turn towards mm -hmm. the back, is an iridescent chiffon that I gave the same focal point as what the front and what the bracelet has. Yeah, you got your bracelet on. <laughs> as she's trailing around or as she's spinning and flying through the air this just makes a pretty little accent which would be gorgeous for either the same type of routine for a nightclub two-step routine or for even a skate routine now what I, i'll give you a little trick here i actually created a belt loop um, out of bias tape that connects this chiffon too, you can see the flesh colored or the strap right here, uh, maybe it's elastic, so that it actually wraps around these straps so that it stays exactly where I want it to instead of flipping up. And then I also don't have to worry about choking her, which is also good, because I like Carolyn. <laughs> so the straps on this, but let me unhook it so that you can see the straps. So it's just a real simple, go ahead and turn a little, hang on a little bit more, there you go, a simple crisscross strap which is highly effective. It gives nice breast support, but still makes a very open back, which is good. Because it was a Frank Sinatra routine, we wanted it to have a, a higher modest back. Go ahead and rotate. Now, Carolyn's shape is quite a bit different now than when she was dancing regularly and working out a whole lot. Now she's busy behind the laptop all the time, <laughs> working up real estate deals. So she's a little curvier now than she was originally. One of the things that still works really beautifully here is how it turns, if you turn sideways, please, ma'am, how it just hangs straight off her tummy and the skirt volume really hits perfectly. So the dress is kind of tailored to about mid hip and then just flares right out, which was really um, excellent for the music that she was dancing to. This low cut front here is a great way to add height because she was quite a bit shorter than her dance instructor who carried her around the air. So we created height by adding blue. So she literally has blue that goes all the way up from here all the way down to the low cut front. So that's a really great way to create some distance and some um, verticality. Go ahead and keep turning sideways, please. As far as what's on the side of the dress, this is a real simple, clean cut. You could, of course, choose to do higher or lower. And if you happen to buy a dress that is too snug for you, let's say you had to add some to it. It would be tricky with the velvet, no doubt. But I was thinking about it as I was having Carolyn just go ahead and keep slowly rotating. I could easily take out some of the volume on this skirt because it's a pretty full flare. I could steal some of the volume from the skirt and add 
to the back if I needed to. I'm going to unzip you here. I'm going to unzip. So let's say that you were buying a dress that's too small for you and it will only stretch, let's say it only goes to about right there. And you've got a good three inch or a seven centimeter gap. What you could do then is add some to the center back by very carefully <laughs> taking some fabric out of the skirt fullness and going ahead and putting it to make a zipper extension to make it wider. Okay, we'll get you all hooked back up there. All right, go ahead and turn back to the front now. And, but that is it. I think this is such a beautiful dress. It's really classic. And that's a great way to, you can take some design elements out of that and possibly use it on your dress. You now have also an extra tip on how to let out a dress that is potentially too small for you. So that's it. Thanks, Carolyn, for joining me. And to all of you watching the video, don't sew alone. <laughs> Tell all your dancing, skating, sewing friends, and please go to sewlikeapro.com. Leave me your name and email address so you never miss one of these tips. And lastly, what's your favorite part of this video? What's your aha moment here? And how do you think it will help you either choose or make a better dress? That's it. I will talk to you again another time. <laughs>